Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at Productronica 2019 on the Scoop Studio, and I'm joined by Manuel from Emil Otto. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure to chat. And we chat regularly online through LinkedIn and read lots of the same stuff. So great to spend some time with you in person. Yeah, thanks, thanks to be here. Start by telling me a bit about Emil Otto and what, um, what you have new at the show this year. Yeah, Emil Otto, a well-known flux and cleaning media manufacturer, um, formed in 1901. Um, this year we brought some new innovations, uh, especially our flux concentrates of the multi-flux range are expanded by several new and innovative products. Um, concentrate is very interesting for customers, especially if they have factories abroad. So the import is much less because you bring in non-dangerous goods and customers don't have to pay so much import costs. And has that import duty, sorry to interrupt there because that's really interesting, supply chains are shifting at the moment because of geopolitical reasons. Has that had a big impact on your business? Of course, geopolitics always has influence. Um, if you look, for example, in Vietnam, the northern part of Vietnam is quite busy. The southern part is doing much business with China and US and companies are sometimes down by 60% in production compared to, to, to last year. Um, automotive industry is under pressure, although we speak about of automotive electronics coming up, uh, still it's low and uh, many automotive guys currently are low on production or even have short work. So just getting back to new products, what is it that's really challenging people at the moment and, and keeping your R&D team busy and keeping them scratching their heads? Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of things. When we look into reliability of, of electronics, we uh, further push our low elementary cleaning media, which give a very positive impact onto reliability for the customers to look more in the process because um, customers have been looking very much on solder paste, on no clean process, also in flux. And now the cleaning media comes into the picture again, um, which is very interesting and we have quite uh, interesting innovations to, to show and customers are really asking for it. Um, further, our joint venture together with Feinhütte, which is a well-known manufacturer of solder materials, has uh, deepened. So we also develop um, filling material for solder wires. Um, they come up with new solders, we come up with new adapted fluxes. So the package the customer can get from Emil Otto in combination with our partners is, is again strengthened. Um, further, we also have the stand solution together with Spectronic, we have Tinovation with Lloyds. So a lot of joint ventures and uh, R&D work going on yeah. and also a lot of new Emil Auto products of yeah. course coming. But partnerships seem really important. Has that been something that's quite new for you to develop all these, all these joint vent ventures or has that been part of your history? Uh, Emil, Emil Otto has always looked into partners, still um, there's always two things, it's the, the custom approach and the, the building of the brand, uh, which has been uh, very much um, happened with, with the Gessner family uh, taking over the leadership of Emil Otto. So in the last years we, we developed our brand, we are now represented in more than 38 countries and uh, customers uh, see our solutions and uh, recognize uh, and they are interested and so the, the questions come up, can we do this, how can we do this and of course we like the challenges yeah. because this is what brings our company forward and so we have substantial growth every year and um, yeah, everybody likes it, of course. Yeah, of course. And it, I, I think the, the custom solution thing is fascinating because I think in this industry now it's become quite commoditized and there are a lot of companies that are just chasing the standard repeatable product. So it's really nice to, to have that approach. Just la lastly, you talked about the company being formed in 1901. Right. 1901, no solar fluxes. What were you originally doing back in back in the, the that industrial revolution yes, it, times? Yes, in, 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 in these times, usually it was much machine building, which is still a part of our business. So we also have the non-electronics business like etching materials, marking uh, materials, uh, surface uh, analysis, and, and, and this stuff, which still is an important uh, business of Emil Otto. And 
And in the, I would say, 50s, 60s, when the, when the soldering process, the inline soldering process, wave soldering came up, of course, development of fluxes was in our focus. So electronics is uh, also a very important business segment for us. Yeah, and it's exciting. We're going through what a lot of people are referring to as the fourth industrial revolution. You actually went through the previous three as a company. So that puts you in a very, very strong position. Manuel, pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for stopping by and uh, hope we can chat again soon. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. It was Thank my pleasure. Much.